Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do rear brakes on this 2016 Ram 1500. If you need these parts or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're gonna loosen these lug nuts up. We're gonna use a 7 8 socket. You can also use a 22 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Just wanna crack them free before we raise the vehicle. I'm gonna raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stands. Now we'll take these lug nuts off. We'll just use the socket. Take that last lug nut off. You can grab the tire, take it off. All right, we're gonna take this caliper off first. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take these two bolts out. And we'll take those two out. Then I'm gonna take a long straight head screwdriver just get in here. I'm just going to pry in between the rotor and the caliper a little bit just to compress the piston a little bit. And I can slide the caliper out. I'm going to use one of these caliper holders. Uh, we sell these at 1AAuto.com. Just slide it through here. And I can hold the caliper right there. I'm going to take a straight blade screwdriver, get in between the pads. Just slide these out. Take that pad off and then take this one off. Do the same. Slide those brake pads out. I'm gonna take these two caliper bolts out. I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Break these free. Same with the top one. Now once I break those free, I'm gonna switch to a ratchet. 21 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Loosen these up. Take those two bolts out. And grab the bracket slide it out. Now when I go to take the rotor off, there is this little retainer that holds the rotor on. They just use this for the factory use um, when they're assembling the vehicle so the rotors don't fall off the axles. You don't have to reinstall it when you're putting the brakes back together. I'm just going to use some side cutters. Go in here, just grab this little tab, squeeze it, and then pry it out. It's going to break, just slide it off, throw it away. Now to take this rotor off, it is rusted on there a little bit. I'm going to take a hammer, I'm just going to hit in these areas and pop it off. You can rotate this a little bit. Give it a wiggle, it's still on pretty tight. Because we're replacing this rotor, I am going to hit it from the back side. There we go. Popped it loose. Just give it a wiggle, pull it off. These are our old brakes. These are our new brakes from 1AAuto.com. If you look at the pads, the pads are the same shape. The ears are the same. The backing shield is the same. Material on the other side is the same. If you look at the rotors, rotors are the same height, same thickness. 
Same vented rotors. And the inside they have the drum for the parking brake assemblies. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, now we're gonna clean up this brake caliper bracket. First, I'm gonna take a wire brush. I'm just gonna clean up these pad slides. Just like that. Get some of the rust out. Take a screwdriver, get underneath here. Slide up on that, pull that out, clean up underneath, get some more rust out, corrosion. Just like that. You can get a little bit on the back side of the pad slide, the pad clips. Take these and reinstall. Just get it lined up, push it back down. And we'll do the same with the other side. All right now, on the brake caliper itself, these are set up a little bit different than normal. The caliper slides are attached to the caliper. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to push these slides down, grab the rubber piece, push it all the way through, just like that. Take a little bit of brake parts cleaner. Spray it on there, use a rag, wipe it off. Just like that, clean that off. Take a little brake parts cleaner, spray it down the hole of the caliper. Take the rag, get in there, dry it off. Clean that out. Now I'm gonna use some brake caliper grease. I'm actually gonna slide it into the hole where the slide goes. That'll spread the grease around a little bit more. You could spread it on this as well, but um, just get it in there pretty good. We'll do the same for the other side. I'll take and install this. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get in. Just get that, push it through, and then make sure the rubber seal seals. And same with that side. And then you can just take it and move it back and forth, make sure it works pretty good. And we'll do the same for the other side. Now before we put the rotor on, we're gonna take a wire brush and just clean up some of the rust on this hub. I'm going to take the rotor, I'm just going to slide this on backwards first. And then we're going to take some brake parts cleaner, spray it down. There is a protective coating on the rotor. So you want to clean it off just to prevent the rotor from rusting. We'll flip it over, slide it on there, spray this side, and wipe it down. Right. Before I push this on completely, I'm just going to pull this off. Um, there is this parking brake shoes right here. There's an adjuster underneath here. If you need to tighten it up, you can take a straight blade screwdriver. You can turn a little, it's a little star underneath here. You can go one way or the other. You have to tighten it or loosen it make a couple turns. There is a door on the back side, so you can actually do this um, while the rotor's on. 
You can take the little door out. See right here. Just grab a screwdriver. Slide this rubber grommet out. Just like that. Then you can get in a, a smaller screwdriver or an actual spoon that will work for that. The spoon, what I mean by a spoon, I mean a brake adjuster spoon, not an actual spoon. So now we can reinstall the rotor. And that feels pretty good. It's just dragging a little bit. You don't want it too tight. You can always loosen it up or tighten it up as you go. Take this little door, take this little grommet, reinstall it. Just push it back in place. I'm gonna take this caliper bracket, reinstall it, use these bolts. There is some thread locker on these bolts. You can reapply thread locker if you'd like. Take my 21 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten these bolts down. Now I'm gonna to torque this with a torque wrench using a 21 millimeter socket to 132 foot pounds. I'm gonna install the brake pads. I'll just put a little grease, brake caliper grease on the ears. And then just a little bit on the back. Just like that. Be careful not to gr get grease on the actual pad. Slide this into position. And we'll do the same for the inside. Just like that. I'm gonna take this brake caliper hanger off, set it aside. Take the brake caliper, flip it over. Take one of the old brake pads, slide it into position there. I'm going to use this brake caliper compressor tool. We actually sell this at 1AAuto.com. Slide this into position. You're going to have to loosen up the tool a little bit. All right, once you get that set, then I'm going to slowly compress this brake caliper. We're pushing the piston in. While we're pushing the piston in, fluid's going through the hose, through the lines, back up to the master cylinder, into the reservoir. A good idea to check the reservoir after you're done the job just, and adjust the fluid accordingly. Now I can remove the tool. The piston is all the way down. Take the caliper, make sure the hose is not twisted. Slide this caliper back on here. Now this caliper actually goes up above here first. Oops. These slides, you may have to push these slides down a little bit. Okay. And this caliper goes up like that and over. We can take these brake caliper bolts, slide those back into position, get those started. And I'll take a 10 millimeter socket and a torque wrench, and I'm gonna to torque these bolts to 24 foot pounds. So on the passenger side, we had to go 
and install the caliper on the top. On the driver's side, we want to install the caliper at the base first. This little notch out goes in first and then you slide the caliper down. So if you're having trouble, that's probably why. We'll take the wheel, line it up with the lug nuts. Take the lug nuts and get those started. Just take the uh, socket, just make sure these are all snug. I'm going to lower the vehicle and torque them. After we do a brake job, we want to make sure that we get back in the truck and we pump the brake pedal because there's going to be an air gap between the caliper piston and the brake pads. So just pump it slowly. Once you feel that the pedal is hard, then you're good to go. After we're done, we want to make sure and check the brake fluid level. The level right now is at the max line. There's a max line here, min line there. You're going to want to adjust this level accordingly. If you have to add fluid, just take the cap off, add fluid. If you have to suck some out, just get it in between those two marks, preferably near the max line. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.